What is going on, everybody? As always, thank you again for checking out these videos. I appreciate it. I appreciate the response, the comments. Um, guys hitting that subscribe button, the messages I've been getting. Like, it's, it's been pretty cool to see uh, the, the good, the, the positive uh, response from these videos. So I definitely appreciate it. This one's going to be a quick one. This actually wasn't even the video that I wanted to put out, but just with how this week was going, I felt like this video, I wanted to do this video first. Uh, this week has been full of thoughts of just like regret, 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 which I never had many, I don't have many regrets, to be honest with you. I don't know about you guys. A lot of the mistakes that I've made, all of the dumb things that I've done, all the wild ass gangster bullshit that I used to do, if I had not have done it, if I didn't do those things, if I didn't make those mistakes, if I didn't go through the trenches and then realize, okay, there's, there's more to this, I wouldn't have been the person that I am now, I wouldn't have certain skill sets that I have now, I wouldn't have certain resilience, the discipline, the mind frame that I, would, I, that I have now, if I didn't go through all these things and make those mistakes. Yes, during the time, of course, I was like, man, why am I doing this dumb stuff? Why, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to do it? But I mean, in retrospect, it allowed me to be who I am today. So it's like, I cannot change it. So I don't regret it at all. A lot of my regrets come from not taking the initiative to do something or not even trying to do something because of fear or what someone might think or you know whatever the case may be. That's the real regrets that I've had uh, in my life. It's not doing something because of really such a small and, and simple and has no real power of a reason that, that it should prevent me. That was something I used to struggle with way, way back in the day. It's like, I would wanna do something, I would be interested in, in trying something new, whatever the case may be. And for whatever reason, I would just create too many scenarios and then before you know it, I'm not doing it. Those are my regrets, those are my biggest regrets. And I've had to eradicate that completely, but how I eradicated the most was when, this is why this week has been like super rough because you know, I, started, I was playing a lot of like the scenarios in my head with my mom when I was going to the hospital and just seeing her, talking to her, and then it went from going to the hospital all the time, then with the shutdown, they were limiting visitors, then it got to the point where they weren't allowing any visitors at the hospital, so it just became this whole thing. But one, one scenario that stood out for me, in which I'll, I'll have to just take it to my grave and I feel horrible about it all the time, was you know, I was talking to her, then I was on my way out, I forgot what I was gonna do, and I was just gonna let you, well, she wanted to go to sleep. And then I was leaving and I wanted to tell her something. I had a message for her, something like that. But I was already like in the elevator and I was already going down and I said to myself, all right, well, I'm just gonna see her tomorrow. So it's all good, I, I won't forget, which I didn't forget. But the problem was that same day or the next day, they stopped allowing visitors. I couldn't see her anymore. And then once they stopped allowing visitors, every time she got moved to a new location, you know, they weren't allowing anybody. And then by the time I was able to talk to her, she barely uh, really understood what I was saying, what was going on. She was in the final stages. And that's like the biggest regret that I had, that I have that I wasn't able to really tell her what I wanted to tell her because I said to myself, oh, I could just do it tomorrow or, you know, I have time. And that's why I stress so much, you know, with you guys and with these videos, it's like time, you, we don't control this time. I don't want you guys to think you control time. Time has its own personality. It's gonna do what it wants. You can, the only thing you can guarantee with time is that it will always keep going. And even in that situation with everything that was going on, I didn't even, I still didn't realize that. And there was something that I wanted to tell, I wanted to just express myself more. These are her final stages. And I just said to myself, no, I would have just, I'm coming back in a few hours anyway, so it would be fine. I could just tell her and it never happened. And I have to live with that. You know, her and I were super close. We were always open. I would always make sure I reach out to her. Anything she needed, I'd pull up on her or I'd send someone, hey, go, Go, go to my mom's house, go drop this off, whatever the case may be. And so I was always talking to her and just, you know, we would talk all the time, but the fact that I could not 
say these things to her and I'll never be able to. The fact that whatever she, maybe she wanted to tell me something and I just went down to the fucking elevator and said, because I'll be back tomorrow. Because I didn't want to press, go back down and come back up. I, I never had an opportunity again to say anything. And that's crazy. And that's a big regret. And that's a regret that I can never change. I can never have a do-over. It's a wrap. So I tell you guys, there's things that you want to do. There's things that you want to accomplish. There's things that you have aspirations to do. There's things that you, there's people that you want to see or, you know, interest in people, whatever it may be. If there's some, is that thing, whatever that thing is, that thing that you want to do, that thing that you, that place you want to go, that job that you want to get, that job you want to create, figure it out and go and do it. Don't, don't think that you can just wait. Don't think you'll have enough time. Act like you don't. Act like you don't, you only have 24 hours to get it done. Act like you only have a day, only act like you have five hours to get all the necessary prerequisites out to make it happen. Figure it out. By the time you finish watching this video, you should be thinking about, okay, what's the next step? What's the next thing I wanna accomplish? Where do I wanna take it? What's the next thing? How can I better myself? What's something that I can work on with me that I've been putting off? Let me go get that gym membership finally. Let me go back in the gym. Let me go start jujitsu. Let me just work on being a better person. Let me work on certain skill sets. Let me work on my, my speech. Let me work on my vocals. Whatever it is, don't think that you have time. I'm telling you, you may think that you have all the time in the world. You think that the day goes so slow and it's like you have all these hours. And No, you don't. Because I thought so. I thought so. It was just a regular day. It was a, I don't know, I think it was maybe like a Tuesday. And I was like, so, okay, well, I'm going to see her, you know, on Wednesday. And I never did. And I have to live with that, you know, and I thought about that this week and it was just driving me so, and then of course, you know, I go down a roller coaster of just thoughts. It was driving me just so insane because it's like, wow, all I had to do was just go back upstairs. But my idea of time was just so, so idiotic that I couldn't even just press the button to go back up to say what I had to say. And I have to live with that. So, and I don't want you guys to have an extreme tragedy like that to wake up and have these wake up calls. I'm letting you guys know, I'm telling you guys, don't wait, go for it. I'm begging you to go for it. Same thing, I talked to my guy in the gym today, I saw him. I haven't seen him in a while and I let him know what was happening. I said the same exact thing to him. You know, I almost made him cry in the gym, but I, I was just speaking with, it was just so passionate. I just felt he needed to hear it. And I felt like you guys need to hear it. I lost a chance to say something to my mother. It doesn't matter how big or small it was because I decided to wait. So you don't have to go through something like that, that I, that I had to go through to wake up and realize, look, let's get it done now. Let's work on it now. Let's plan it now. Let's get better at it now, now, now. I don't want you to have that type of regret because this is a regret that I have to live with, you know? And there's many more regrets that maybe I should have done things better, you know, with this whole situation. And I have to live with that and I have to live that down. So what regrets are you gonna live with? Or are you gonna make that decision to start changing and switching things up and go even harder? And let me let you guys know something. You know, because the way I talk is the way I talk. I stutter sometimes. I talk with a little slang, whatever the case may be. When I say I go harder, it's not talking about just going to the going to the gym and going harder in the gym. I'm talking about in life general, like in every aspect of your life, in your relationship, in your your marriage, the things that you're doing, your relationships with your children, going harder, being a better person, taking the time now to get better at being better in all aspects of your life. Not just that, because people think it's just about the gym, the gym. That's a, a part of it. That's a lifestyle. You know, we live a fitness lifestyle because it's making our discipline stronger. It's making our our vessel stronger. That's what where the fitness comes in. If you notice, I don't post all the workouts like that. I'm not talking about macros all the time because it's so much deeper than just what my macros are and what's the workout for the day. The skill set of going to the gym, the skill set you're building from going to jujitsu is developing that strong character, that strong discipline, that will to get it done no matter what's going on. You're gonna make the time. If it's 20, 30, an hour, however many minutes you're gonna get it in, you're gonna get it in because 
that discipline is cre- is going to now spill over into all aspects of your life. That's what the gym is about. That's what this fitness is about. That's, that's the lifestyle that we're living with. It. It, it's creating a better version of ourselves through that, through the pain, through the discipline. Of course, it sucks to go to the gym when it's raining, it's cold, and it's early. You've been working 12, 14 hours a day, but you're just building this strong character. You're building this character development. That's what the gym, that's why I preach about going to the gym and going to jujitsu. It's building that character that impenetrable vessel that you're creating, that when a new problem arises and when something happens, you're laughing at it. You're like, I don't give a fuck, give me more. I can deal with this, I can deal with this all day. Those other cats, they can't handle it. They're too soft, they got a soft jaw. They can't even put down the burger. They only have enough discipline to put down the burger, but they want all the, all the jewels and the treasure of the world. We're here being disciplined Limiting our food intake, not eating the nonsense, making sure we put in the work. And that militant mind frame and that strong mind frame that we have now spills over into loving your wife more, loving your husband more, loving your children more, pursuing your goals even more. Despite working all those hours, went to the gym, you still put enough time in to work on you and work on building yourself up. That's what the gym for me represents, and that's what fitness represents. Listen, there's a million one pages you can go to, get the workout, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be the same deadlift and all of that. I can just show you all of that. That's fine. That's great. And I can show you the principles, and the principles definitely work. You know, but I also want you guys to know those principles that worked for me, it what also worked is the fact that I've been going 12, 13 years strong training and working out and staying in that disciplined mind frame. Jiu-Jitsu is approaching seven years, seven plus years, and still going strong. Putting in that mind frame, having that mind frame to keep going. Understanding that nothing is going to come easy. Nothing is going to come fast. But when you do get it, it's, it feels so good. You love it. And that's when that confidence comes in because you know what the work you put in. And you see someone else who's putting that work in also. It's no hate. You don't, you're not hating on an individual. You're giving them a big smile or giving her a big smile and you're just, and you're letting them know like, yeah, I see you. That's when I'm out and about. It, when I see someone putting in the work, it's no hate coming from me. And that's why people deal with me. That's why people from all walks of life deal with me because I'm not coming with, with this, this, this hate, on, hating on them and all this nonsense. I'm coming in with, with love. Like, look at what you're accomplishing. I'm getting hyped up seeing what you're doing. And it's that mutual respect. I'm going off on a super tangent, but just feel you guys need to know that. So let me get out of here, guys. That oatmeal it's still in the microwave. So new video on the way. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll be back with another one. Peace.